it is Flashback Friday, and before we jump into what happened on in 1999, I thought I would show you some things that I um, I sold, a couple things, and then um, I'm going to show you some things that I bought today, and then we'll jump into Flashback Friday. And uh, I am making this kind of late in the day just because it uh, my electric has been off for a few hours today uh, because we had some really bad storms rolling through. So anyway. Uh, let me jump into what's sold. Um, this is a bit of um, Littlest Pet Shop, just some odds and ends that I had left over um, after parting out a lot. And I have made a couple hundred dollars on that lot already. Um, this is just, you know, um, icing on the cake or frosting, depending on what part of the country you're from. I digress. Um, so 15, uh, $15.98 for this shipped. And then I just bought these like a week ago. I only listed them in the last three or four days. And they were eight Basset Hound flags that I bought at Goodwill. I paid um, $3.99 for all eight of them. And look at that. I sold them for $39.99. And plus um, they went first class. Those went out today. And this is some Temptations. The pattern is Old World, and it's two loaf pans, and then two of these um, ramekins that are both different, and um, I guess one of them is different. The other one is like itself, and the other one is different. I don't know. Guys, don't don't, don't, don't pressure me. <laughs> it's, uh, anyway, um, I got these for, um, I bought these in that, that church sale lot that I bought um, last weekend, last Friday, and I only paid $10 for everything that I bought. So um, I sold these for $29.98. I have another listing for some more pieces of this, and that's listed for $29.98 as well. And I listed these as new other because actually one or two of these still had plastic wrapped on them. So uh, anyway, um, I bought this Dumbo lamp for $3.99, and uh, it sold. It took about, I'm guessing, about 30 to 45 days to sell. And uh, $39.99 for that. And then this is a huge Tigger plush. And um, I think I paid $3, 3 or $4 for this. I don't really remember. Um, it took about 60 days to sell. And I sold that for $34.99 plus shipping. So um, not too bad on the sales. Um, let's look at um, some of the things that I bought today when I was out shopping. All right, so um, I went to two stores today. We didn't have a lot of time to shop, and quite frankly, I just didn't have a lot of money to spend. Um, I think I spent less than $50 for everything that I'm going to show here. I did buy, <clears throat> I probably spent more like $40 for everything that I, I'm going to show you here because I did buy some personal stuff um, for someone else, and um and I paid for it with the same money. So I think it was probably about $40. Uh, let's just jump right in here. So my Goodwill does a half tag, um, half off tag every week. This week's color was uh, purple. And so this was $4.99 and then it was marked half off. Um, so I got it for $2.50 and this is a cool kind of chip and dip thingy and um, for Christmas so um, I mean I can go ahead and list it now people buy things out of season for for Christmas and um, you know it won't cost me much to have it listed and I could probably list that pretty pretty high maybe in the 30 ish dollar range I'll have to do I didn't even look it up I just bought it so because that's, that's how I rolled today. Today I didn't look nothing up except one thing, and I'll show you that. Um, so I bought these two. They were at the same place yesterday, and I didn't buy them. But I decided to go ahead and do it. Um, these are Pampered Chef. And this is called Chill Zan, I think. Pretty sure that's how you say that. And um, basically, they um, have liquid in the base that you can freeze. And then, you know, it can take your salads, your your vegetables and stuff, and keep it cold um, when you go to um, potlucks and stuff like that. I paid $5 for this one. And 
I paid five dollars for this one and this one is both of them are cool but this one is the cooler of the two so it's got this divided tray and you can take the dividers out um, to make those bigger and resection it how you want and and that's just a cool feature that whole thing pops out so now you've got this whole area if you want to do some kind of like you could potentially do like lettuce tomato and stuff like that if you wanted to but then this lifts out and look at that it's a deviled egg tray and uh, that will keep your deviled eggs um, nice and cool so I just thought that that was a cool feature um, I paid five dollars each for these I probably can only get about thirty to thirty five dollars for the pair but um, they're, they're, they're cool they're cool enough I could buy them anyway um, bought this free sale for a dollar um, like I said this store always tests stuff so that works maybe eight excuse me eight ten bucks on those um, bought some ink this is expired ink but I tend to buy ink um, if it's anywhere good at all I think this might work in my printer and if it doesn't I'll just sell it I paid 50 cents for each of those which is not bad I bought this I didn't look this up but um, I thought I might just like to try it maybe I don't know why it sounds so like a ballet girl today I'll try and fix that okay. anyway this is an Orville Redenbacher Presto um, power pop and so the microwave uh, corn popper and it has a little base and blah, it's got all this stuff I paid a dollar for it I don't know if it's worth anything and I'm one of these people that I will buy a gadget like this because it's cheap and I'll use it twice and then I'll say well I mean I could just use I could just do bags of microwave popcorn that would be easier I wouldn't even need this and then it gets resold donated given to somebody or chunked chunked in the corner so anyway but enough about my personal problems um I bought these dance goes and they got some wear on them but not much and I love the pattern on these um these are size 41 so they're probably a 9 or a 10 I'll have to look it up they're in pretty good shape and um I paid $3.99 for these and I think I can get 25 I didn't look them up I had Holly look them up and they were kind of dance goes were kind of all over the place so I really didn't check this pattern but I just thought it was really cool and like even the inside is not worn out so I'm thinking about $25 on those <clears throat> oh I must be going through puberty I don't know what's happening and then I found a pair of Sperry's. Um, these are kind of dirty. I'll have to clean them up. These are size 11 men's. And I think I paid $3.99 for these as well. And uh, I say I think because Goodwill doesn't mark shoes. So I think these are $3.99 um, is what the sign says. And I think I can get 25 to 30 for those as well. And then just a couple more items. So this is probably the highest item that I bought today um, was this cool vintage like racing jacket kind of thing it's um it's a thin nylon like windbreaker basically it's got these cool stripes down the side um, nice that the the pull on the zipper well the zippers good and the pull on the zipper is intact it's not broken um, it's got this great patch uh, it does have problems for one one of the pockets has been repaired I believe yeah it looks like they it looks like that they had started a a repair on this and then it didn't hold out and I may be able to fix that myself I may take it to somebody and get them to fix it it's not that big of a deal or I may just sell it with that disclosed and then it does have some discoloration here but in a little bit better condition this can go from 60 to 80 dollars and I think I can probably get 40 in the condition that that one's in and I paid 4.99 for that 
And then the last thing that I bought, trust your gut. Most of the time, trust your gut, especially if you got a gut like mine, because it's kind of big. Okay. Anyway, uh, but but like trust those impulses because I don't know every product. I don't. I know a tiny percentage of products, and I go with my eye, you know, and and I trust when my body is telling me you might need to look at that. So. Um, in the display case in Goodwill, they have their nicer items in there. I found this little guy, and there's a couple more of them. And it's this hat on this little Peggy thing. And these were marked $14.99 for all of them, and then they were half off, so I got them for $7.50. And, I mean... First of all, some people think that hats are a mistake. I tend to think that they're not, but I digress. Um, anyway, look at this. How stinking cute is this? Um, anyway, I started doing some research. Um, these are Willow Hall probably won't be able to see that and uh, it's clearly somebody's collection and uh, I just thought these were so cute so I think I can get about $50 but I haven't researched all of these different ones because this one is pretty fantastic don't you think I mean look at that with the rhinestones and the you know, this reminds me of Johnny Carson doing the Swami. Uh, I forget what the, the name of that character was. But um, where he would... God, what was the name of that character? Where he would put the envelope to his head and he would ask the question. Uh, he would answer the question that was on the paper inside the envelope. envelope. It was pretty funny. But yeah, this is so cool. Um, a couple of them are kind of plain, like this one is kind of plain. Um, this one is, this one's okay, kind of plain, but this is kind of groovy, isn't it? Anyway, so um, I was pretty excited to find these. And um, this is something I, look at that, wow. I didn't know anything about these. I just felt like, hey, the paint on those looks really good. It doesn't look like it's slopped on cheap resin from China. Not to say these weren't made in China, I don't know, they may have been, but they were done carefully. They were painted carefully. There was care taken um, with the, manufacturer of these. So, um, they sell somewhere in the 10, 12, 15 dollars each. Apparently there were shoes that went with them, um, like a matching shoe for the hat because why wouldn't you want that? But I'm going to try and put them all together and sell them for about 50 and uh, see where that gets me. So that's what I bought today. Got to get it listed. Um, I've got chaos in here, but it's, it's all stuff that's listed. Um, also, I wanted to talk to you just briefly about the, remember yesterday, um, I, or, no, remember a couple days ago I talked about promoted listings? Well, I did, um, I did go in and promote 17 items, and um, I chose for those promotions to be 5 to 10% of the selling price, and I have noticed, I noticed even within eight hours of doing that, that there are lots more watchers on those particular items. So, um, I'm hoping that that will spawn a couple of sales. Um, it's definitely getting more traffic and, um, you know, traffic's only good as a buyer, I guess. But, um, you know, if, if it boosts it in the rankings, great. If somebody buys those items, great. Most of them were one-offs. There were a couple that were quantity. Um, and a lot, I did list a lot that 
was um, higher end, like more expensive stuff. But anyway, just wanted to let you know, um, that's how that's progressing. And I did run the promotion through the end of the month. So we'll see, we'll see if I get any sales out of those 17 items. But now let's talk about um, Flashback Friday. So I decided to go 1999, um, you know, Prince wrote that song about it. And uh, all through the 80s, we were partying like it was 1999. And then 1999 turned out to be hmm, not so much. But anyway, um, it was a year where people were afraid of what would happen to our computers because of Y2K and will the calendar, you know, roll over to the next year. And they were very concerned about the, the, the you know, when everything shut down because at that point we were running pretty much on computers. And, um, you know, you had your end of the worlders that believed that the world was going to end um, when it rolled into to 2000. And... Here we are in 2017, so I'm just gonna say y'all were wrong. I'm just gonna put that out there and let that be. But in 1999, um, I was gonna tell you all this stuff. There was some crazy, crazy hate crime murders, serial killings, all of this craziness. And I decided not to do that to you guys on a Friday night, because who wants that crap for real? So. Um, I'm going to bring you just a few facts about 1999, not 15-minute not spiel. And then we're going to talk about TV shows, movies, and music, which is my favorite. Okay, so Bill Clinton was president in 1999, and the Senate acquitted him of um, in his impeachment trial. And um, that was also the same year that a, tech, a man from Texas, he happened to be the governor, George W. Bush, um, announced his bid for the Republican Party for the President of the United States. Another important um, event happened and that was Legoland California opened in Carlsbad, California. And it was the, it's the only Legoland that is outside of England. So there you go. You know, that happened in 1999. Bill Gates' personal fortune exceeded 100 billion billion dollars due to an increase in Microsoft's um, value, stock value. It's um, also the year that they released Windows 98. You're late. And it was also the first version of MSN Messenger, which I don't think anybody's used for a while. I've never been on that MSN Messenger train, really. Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace was released this year, and it was and it was it is the highest grossing Star Wars movie. The Last Checkered Taxi Cab um, is retired in New York City, and then it's auctioned off for a mere one hundred and thirty-five thousand um, dollars. Deaths in this year include Gene Siskel, who. Um, was a movie critic, Stanley Kubrick, um, a famous filmmaker, Joe DiMaggio, um, famous baseball player and ex-husband of Marilyn Monroe, Dana Plato, who played Ki um, Kimberly Drummond on Different Strokes, also passed away. And that show has just been like plagued with people passing away. And, and having bad luck as related to that show. But, you know, different strokes for different folks, right? Shel Silverstein, um, and I hope it's Silverstein, not Silverstein, because I, I don't know. But anyway, he passed away in 1999, and he was famous. He's a famous American poet, writer, etc. And if you don't know his books, I recommend that you get his books. The Giving Tree is an amazing book. And it just talks about sac sacrificing for the people that you love. It's a gorgeous book and it makes me cry every time. DeForest Kelly died in 1999. And if you don't recognize that name, you must not have been a Star Trek fan. DeForest Kelly played Dr. McCoy in the first, in the re original series with William Shatner. Yeah, James T. Kirk, William Shatner. Uh, Fred Trump died in 1999. 
uh, would not be notable except for he's Donald Trump's pro father. Victor Mature, and he is an old, he was an old actor uh, from back in the day. Great movies. John F. Kennedy Jr. passed away in 1999, and I'm just sick about that. Still. Still upsetting to me. Yeah, said it. Alan Funt, who, if you will remember, was your candid camera guy um, back in the old original series. Just some funny stuff. Uh, that show was funny stuff. And finally, Wilt Chamberlain, who is a famous um, basketball star. And I don't even do sports, really, but I knew who Wilt Chamberlain was. New shows in 1999. Lots of um, cartoons, and a lot of them I didn't even list, but here are a couple. Family Guy. SpongeBob uh, SquarePants, Futurama. Law and Order SVU debuted um, this year, and it's probably my favorite of all of the Law and Order series. Um, but boy, it's tight, because I really love the original series, and I love, I love CI as well, but SVU is probably the most popular in my book. The Sopranos um, aired in 2000, or in 1999, first run of the, um, of the Sopranos. What an incredible show. What an incredibly violent show, but but a well-written show. The West Wing also made its debut this year. Angel, which is where David Morianis got his... I don't know if that's a spinoff. Is that a spinoff of Buffy? Anyway, um, this was the show he was in before he was in the show Bones. Um, also, Good Eats with Alton Brown, which I love that show because it explained the science of cooking. Um, I always say art, cook, cooking is art and baking is science, but there is a lot of science that goes into cooking as well. And he would explain all of that to us while showing us how to make something really, really tasty. Um, Cold Case Files, first um, season of that was 1999. I love that shows. I'm a true cu true crime junkie. Just love that stuff. Can't get enough. Ripley's Believe It or Not and Divorce Court also started this year. Um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire also. And then shows that you could still watch that started sometime before um, but were still available on TV included Will and Grace. The Drew Carey Show, Touched by an Angel, Friends, Buffy the Vampli Vampires. You know, those are the pliers that you use to pull teeth. Vampires. Um, Frasier, Everybody Loves Raymond, except me, I'm not a big fan of that show. Allie McBeal, ER, Spin City, Boy Meets World, Dharma and Greg, The X-Files, Charmed, which my sister has had an unhealthy obsession with, Dawson's Creek, Party of Five, and That 70s Show. The top movies of the year were number five, American Beauty, number four, The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser, um, number three, Eyes Wide Shut, number two, The Matrix. Do you remember those crazy moves in The Matrix? It was groundbreaking. We hadn't seen anything like it. It was um, very well packaged. It was a great story. And quite frankly, I can't get enough of Keanu Reeves. I think he's pretty fantastic. Um, and then the first, the number one movie of the year, I can't tell you about. Because the first rule of this movie is I can't tell you about it. And if I move on to the second rule of this movie, I can't tell you about it. But anyway, the number one movie of the, the year was Fight Club. The top three country songs of 1999 were Lesson in Leaving by Jody Messina, Write This Down by Lone Star by George Strait, and Amazed by Lone Star. The top three R&B songs were three, Heartbreak Hotel by Whitney Houston, Faith Evans, and Kelly Price. Number two, Nobody's Supposed to Be Here by Deborah Cox. And number one, Fortunate by Maxwell. And I don't, you, you may not recognize that song, but Maxwell has got like an incredible voice. Just incredible. 
your top t three alternative songs, and now we need an alternative category because the 90s spawned alternative music, were number three, Fly Away by Lenny Kravitz, Scar Tissue by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Smooth by Santana featuring Rob Thomas. Finally, the, th the top three pop songs are Angel of Mine by Monica, No Scrubs by TLC, and finally, one of the old school girls, back on top again, Do you believe in life after love? <laughs> anyway, I can't do share. I don't do share. Anyway, uh, <laughs> So that's what I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoy this video. Like, subscribe, comment, because I love to hear from you. Join the Facebook page if you want. Come on over there and we can do um, Facebook page members only hangouts where you can come and uh, talk as we're working. Um, the last one I had was a couple of days ago and there, I think there ended up being six, six or seven of us there and uh, we just sit and list and we talk and we ask each other's qu other questions and we say hey what would you price this for and um, we learn about each other we help people that are a le little less experienced out um, some of the new dogs teach the old dogs tricks very confused by that statement and uh, but anyway I'd like to see you there so that Facebook page is socially awkward sellers and you can find us over there. And then, um, thank you for being here. I appreciate you watching. And I will keep uploading the videos as long as you guys keep showing up. So just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working. And I'll see you the next time. Do you believe in love after love?